Hello everybody and welcome. Melissa here at TCT Crafts. I'm so glad that you guys decided to tune into my channel today. We are going to be doing something beautiful today. We're going to be making a Christmas winter swag design. Let me show you some of the supplies we're going to be using. So we're just going to be using this swag base. I think it's a 24 inch flocked swag base. We're going to get, be getting messy today. Anytime you work with the flock stuff, beware. It's gonna, this black will be white before the end, of the end of the design. We're going to be using these little pine sprays. Have some more pine sprays. I think this is our Northwoods pine. We're going to be pulling in a little bit of these blue glitter sprays. Got these gorgeous velvet sequins ornaments. And then the star is this ribbon. So let me show you guys this gorgeous fair silk ribbon, double-sided. Isn't that just beautiful? So we're gonna be making a little winter wonderland swag with blues and whites today. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I forgot to mention we're gonna be using one other greenery. So I have just this little flocked, I think it's a cypress spray, I'm not exactly sure, but just a little flock spray. We're going to be using this one as well. So the first thing we're going to do, let me go ahead and flip you guys down, is we're going to get our swag base ready. So I'm just going to fluff it up. And these things are a little thin, but by the time we get done adding all of our greeneries in there, it's going to be nice and full. You can always take and put two of these together, which I often will do. Um, but for this design, we're just, we'll just use one. Okay, so we've kind of got it fluffed out pretty good. Now, what I want to do first is I'm going to take one of our sprays here. And we're going to get it positioned in here. Now I'm going to take those pine cones off. We may bring them back in towards the end, but I don't want it getting in the way of our design. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to kind of weave some of these together. We're going to zip tie it here in just a second. I'm going to cut this stem down because we don't need it that long. That's a thick one. Okay, let's take another one. Again, I'm just going to pull those pine cones off of here. And we're going to go down. So up and down. This is going to help elongate our design a little bit and adding these extra branches in here is going to give us some support along the spine of our design. Now, I don't need the stem that long, so let me cut that down. I have to break out my stem cutter. There we go. Okay, so this is sort of creating our swag base. I'm going to go ahead and take a zip tie and zip tie these together. And then we're going to weave the pine branches and twist them around as well. But we want to secure it with a secure with a zip tie. Just make sure it's not going to go in there. do my best to keep you guys in view but some of it may go out of view as this swag gets larger unfortunately it might not stay all in view but I'll do my I'll do my best okay so I'm just going to take a couple of these branches now and just twist them around Get 
one down here. Just twist. Okay. So now we have our now we have our base. Okay. So let's go ahead and I want to, I think we're gonna add our butt. So we're gonna pull in this beautiful ribbon. And I want to be mindful of the way my ribbon lays because I want it to, I want the pattern to face the right way. Okay, so I'm on the long tail up here. Let me see. Okay, I think this ribbon is a little thicker. Um, I'm going to pull out my bow maker. When I'm using the one and a half inch ribbon, I can. I pretty much got it down where I can use my um, I can use my hands, but with this thicker ribbon, I'm gonna have to use my bow maker. Okay, so this tail is going to go up top. Okay, and for the first loop, I'm gonna go about eight inches. on this side. Okay, and then I'm going to go about just but just a little bit a little bit under that. to decide if I want to do a four loop or a three loop. I've been on the three loop kick lately, so I think we're just going to stick with that three loop though. Okay, so let me get a zip tie. thing to do while you're trying to hold this. <laughs> okay. Now let me fix my loops because I might have got them out of whack a little bit. Okay, let me cut that zip tie off. right down here at the bottom. I'm just going to use a small zip tie. I think I can get away with using a small zip tie. No, I'm going to need a bigger one. That one was just a little too small. Loop. Okay, and then let's leave this tail a little long. We can cut it back later if we need to. Just like that. Let's 
probably all the ribbon. We'll see. We may have some tails on the side, but I think we may just leave it like that. Now let me cut this one a little shorter up here. There we go. Beautiful. So let me flip the camera here for you guys. And show you what we've got so far. Okay, so here is our swag base with our ribbon. Isn't that pretty already? Love it. Okay. So now let's go ahead and let's add, I think let's add our, let's add a little bit of our greenery before we do our ornaments. So I'm just going to take, cut these off into three pieces. I want to fill this in a little bit before we start adding our ornaments. Okay, so this piece is a longer piece. I'm going to put it up towards the top. I'm just going to lift and glue that in. Okay, and I'm just going to start kind of going and filling around the sides. I may have to add, I think I will, let's see. You can do it what you age. You can either put a pick on this or you can just pull off the edges like that to give you a stem. So if you don't have a pick machine, you can do it that way. I'm going to go up underneath our bow. Y'all bear with me, every time I work with this flocked, these flocked sprays, um, I always get a cough. It is messy, so I will warn you now. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add a pick on this one. Same thing on this side. So I'm going to save my longer piece for the bottom. Take my shorter pieces and I'll pick on it. So we're just kind of anchoring our bow, giving it a little bit of support. This one, the pick did not want to go on very well, so I'm just going to pull the leaves. filling it out. So I said you could take and put two together and a lot of times I do but for this one we've got a lot of greenery going in here so I think we'll be fine. If you didn't want to use as much greenery then you definitely could. I'm 
I get another piece in just a second. We have a long piece for the bottom, but let me just fill in some of these, some of the side here. Give me a little fit. There we go. Just kind of go on top of our little tail. Okay, let's put up another one. And I'm going to save the long stem one for the bottom. So I'm going to go right up in here. But we're kind of catching a little bit on something. There we go. I'm just going to shove it right up into that. And I'll hit it with some glue. Okay, let's do a few pieces around the top. Right up underneath our tail there. We'll put one piece right there. I have another one, but let's wait till the end so we can see where we need to fill in holes. I think this is a good starting point. Okay, now let's go ahead and add our ornaments. So I'm gonna take the little string off. And I want one sitting right here next to where we tied this tail in. Maybe right underneath it. The string is sticking to me. I'll... There we go. So I'm thinking we're going to go kind of right in here with it. Sticking right in there. So you can take a wire, run it through the hoop, and secure it in. I am just going to glue mine in. It's got this velvet. We can also take our little floral pins. And we can pin it to the greenery. So I'll show you we've done this on some of our other designs. So because this foam ball, this ornament is foam, we can just take a floral pin. We can go up underneath this greenery, right into that ornament, and secure it. The same thing on this side. I find this easier than trying to wire it in. Plus then you don't have to worry about trying to hide your wire. Okay, so I'm going to go right, buy me a piece of greenery, and go right up into that ornament. Okay, so voila, that is not going to go anywhere. It's glued and it is wired. Well, let's get another one. Or not wired. Y'all, I can't speak today. It's got the pin. Okay, so this one I want to kind of sit right up in here. So we're going to do the same thing. Oops, I need another glue stick.
lots and lots and lots of Gorilla Glue. Put it right up in there. Get my pin. Just to use the two. We could cluster them. I kind of like that. And then we'll have the greeneries coming all out. We have lots more greeneries. I'm almost thinking we should have raised this loop just a hair, but I think it'll be okay. So let's go ahead, let's cluster these. right in, right in there. Okay. Get my pin, going right underneath that greenery into that ornament. This side. There we go. So let me flip you. Okay, let's see what we have so far. Is it that gorgeous? So pretty already. We're not even done. sprays. I brought in, I think, three bushes. I don't know that we're going to need all three of them. This is already very pretty, so I mean, you can stop at any point. This would be beautiful just, just like it is. But we're going to, we're going to move on and we're going to add a few more, a few more things. I'm going to add that one right in there. And start building it out. Going up underneath the ornament. I like the way these are, these are laying in here. So we might actually end up using all of them. We shall see. I think I'm going to go up underneath. And give it that link there at the bottom. in there together a little bit. Let's put another one. I'm going 
a shorter piece for right there. start coming sort of out those kind of went those kind of like angled down these are going to kind of come just because we're filling in our sides and then we're going to start working our way up Get a lot. You get a lot of them. They're nice and full. These were new year, new this year, and I will definitely be ordering these again next year. Nice and wispy. We go right underneath that tail. We'll part the C's and go up underneath. branch that I think we're going to add in a couple little spots. I'll take these pine cones off for now. We probably will put these pine cones in there in a minute. Just kind of give it that little winter, winter look. I'm just going to cut these up. center here. We kind of have a little bit of a hole right here. I'm thinking that is a perfect little spot right there for that one. Design's starting to get big, y'all, so I'm gonna do my best, keep y'all, keep y'all in view, but I kind of think we need one to kind of help hold that tail up right there. So I'm gonna put a pick on it. And I'm gonna go up underneath. how that lifted and gave our little tail some support. I have a couple more pieces. I think we want to go right underneath there. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, y'all, it's so pretty. OK, 
Okay, and then this one, let's go right there. Gorgeous. Let me flip these so you guys can see. Oh, I just stuck my finger right in the glue. Okay. So here's what we have so far. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. You could totally stop here. Absolutely gorgeous. But I think I want to add a few. Because our, our balls are, have that glittery sequins, I thought it would be fun to bring in some of our little honey locust sprays. Give it an extra little glam factor. Winter glam is what we'll call it. Winter glam. And then we can add in a couple of our little pine cones as filler too. Okay, I'm gonna cut up two of these because I know for sure we're gonna use at least two, if not more. But again, you could stop. You can leave it just like this, beautiful. We're just gonna take it up just a notch with our little glitter sprays. Probably not even more than two, but let's start with two. We go right towards the top. And I'm just going to kind of lift and pull these little pieces off the end to give you a stem. I'm going to lift and tuck. I'm sorry, I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. We got sales coming in, which is always a good thing, right? Okay. So I'm just working my, my way around. And lifting and tucking. gorgeous if I do say my show myself. I think it's turning out pretty. You'd be surprised how many people love their blue and white. And this is good winter. It can go through all the way, you know, past Christmas. I sell quite a bit of blue and white at Christmas time, to be honest with you guys. Okay, I'm just gonna tuck that one under there. Yeah, we're gonna need more than more than the two. Yes, I have my glue pot on and I'm still using that. I keep grabbing my glue gun. Now let's cut up another one. See if we can get away with three. Knowing me, we're going to need four. I don't know when to stop. design just hindsight I would make your loops just a tad bit bigger I think I made mine just a little too small it still is pretty but I think the loops could have could have been a, a hair bigger so we went eight I would probably go nine or ten 
probably more like 10, 10 inches. But it still looks pretty. Okay, so we've gone all the way around. Now I wanna hit a few of these in the center. stop if you want to keep the expense down because this will be on the pricier side with all this greenery. Y'all, the winter greenery is not cheap. Not for good greenery anyway. It can, it can add up, but it's so pretty and people just love going all out for Christmas time and winter. So I'm going to tuck a couple pieces towards the top of our design now. I almost think we still need another one right in here. are done. Oh, nope. I lied. My bad. Gotta add our little pine cones. Let's tuck in a couple of our little pine cones. You don't want the pine cones? You don't have to. But we've got little mini pine cones on that little pine cone spray. I figured we could tuck a few of these in. one right there. Let's see if I can get a smaller one. Tuck that one right there. Okay, let's maybe where we tied this in down here. Tuck another one. down in there, just glued it straight to the cloth pine there. And let's go one right under here. Here is our finished design. Isn't it just gorgeous? 
I love the way it turned out. I'm gonna hang it up. I'm gonna take some pictures. If I see any holes, I have a few of the little glitter sp sprays left and I have one more of these. So if I see a hole, I'll fill it in. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Winter Wonderland swag. Thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, we would love to have you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have new tutorials. Until next time, bye y'all.